So, I'm going to say this, um, and for the avid gardener, they're probably not going to believe me, but for the average person, you'll understand where I'm coming from when I say this. I'm an extremely busy individual, so there can be time that elapses where I'm just not able to get out to do something. And one of the things that I really got caught off guard by was my old pepper plant. Now, you know, I've, I've collected all the peppers off of these two plants all summer long. So I've gotten more than my share of, 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 of hot peppers. But if you look at this, this, uh, this is not how I left it, right? The, there's no leaves. Um, the sprigs are gone. I harvested quite a few peppers off of this bush. And if you look really closely, you can tell that this bush didn't just break apart because of this last couple of storms that's come through here. Something's been eating on it. So I came over to my second plant and I noticed that the same thing was happening to my second plant. Like you can see where something literally ate the tip. Something's come in and it's eaten part of my one pepper that I had left on the plant. Something's been really going to town since I've been out of town for the last week. And if you look real close, you'll see exactly what's been eating this plant. That guy. And if you're saying to yourself, that dude looks pretty big, you're right. He's pretty large. And it looks like, it looks like he's taking a nap. Like, you know how to tell you that you get the itis after you've eaten too much? I think this guy went to town on this pepper plant, and I think he ate so much that now he's just taking a nap. Like, he's, he's asleep. I mean, it's early in the morning right now, and I haven't even eaten breakfast because I just came out to, you know, just figure out what in the world happened. What was it that's been eating on this pepper plant over the last week? And well, it's this guy. Now I've got to admit to you that you can't see in this video, but over in the background over here, there's this huge butterfly bush that we have. I'm about six, five, six, six. And that bush towers over me and, you know, on a regular day, um, there are butterflies all over that bush. So it does not surprise me or shock me to find caterpillars in the adjacent raised bed over here munching down. But beforehand, it was just, you know, one bush that these guys were eating on. But now I think that the butterflies have realized that, hey, this is a great place um, to lay our larvae and, and, and let them get the grub on. And you can look down at the bottom you can see how long they've been down here eating. Look at all that. That's how long this thing has been in this bush, just in this plant, just eating away. Yeah. Dude is massive, man. So I'm going to move him, uh, put him somewhere where there's some food that he can eat, but it's not my pepper plants. And he's got a friend right above him, like right here. Look at this. Look at this dude. This dude is just kind of hanging out. Just doing his thing. He's feeding on the end of an old tomato plant. Yeah. So they're in here grubbing out. Having a good time. <laughs> 